Hey guys, welcome back to a bookish fair. Have you subscribed to our channel? Good question. Yeah, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to be reviewing Nairobi Eats. Yeah, that's why I brought the Eats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice one! <laughs> Alright guys, now let's talk about Nairobi Hits. Now Nairobi Hits was written by Mukoma Wa Mbuki. Mm -hmm. He is the son of the famous, famous Ngugi Wa I mean, I've read Ngugi's books like, he's like a Kenyan hero anyway. Mm -hmm. But this Mukoma is his son. So Mukoma is an assistant professor at of English at Cornell University and he was shortlisted for Kane Prize for African writing in 2009 and in 2010 for the inaugural Penguin Prize for African writing. So we're going to jump right into this review. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> so a young white woman is found dead on the staircase of a an African man and then this is what starts the whole trip of Nairobi really? heat. This book is the Permit my language. She's neat. Like it's so small, but it's so actual it's packed. Like I was reading this book and I was like, oh, damn, like I can see like 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 a director making a movie out of this book. Yeah. It's so freaking good. Like, oh my god. So an African American detective is called in to investigate the case mm -hmm. and he has to take a trip to Nairobi in Kenya. And that's his first time in Africa. <laughs> So it was kind of like a going home sort of trip for him mm -hmm. and then he also had to you know get really deep into like the underworld oh, of, of, <laughs> of, of crime in Nairobi. So it's a crazy journey. We, we don't want to spoil the book because we really want you guys to read it but it's there's so many um things that unravel as you go in deep into the book okay so but really trying hard not to spoil like not to give any spoilers about yeah. the book so that's why we're not going deep into the plot of this book because we want you guys to actually go out there and get a copy of this book and read it so we're just going to give you a few things of this book um corruption politics yes. Balance, Rwandan, um, genocide, genocide yeah, the Rwandan racism, genocide. Mm -hmm. it's a whole lot of violence, a lot of things it's are crazy. explored <laughs> in this book. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the what did you like about this book? Oh, I loved a lot of things about this book. First is the pacing. I mean, for a crime trailer or for a crime book, it had a fantastic pacing. Yeah. It was fast, it was moving, there was there no like Plot holes, there was no dragging, no nothing. Mm -hmm. It was really fast. I loved the the simple language. It was just very. It was an yeah, easy it was read. Was I loved the characterization. Mm -hmm. the, the characters were well developed. As small as this book like, was, like, you could feel you what? could feel the emotions. You could feel mm -hmm. the. It was, like, it was in Nairobi, it was like, even when I was yeah, talking it about Rwanda It places you in, like, places you right yeah. in the middle of the action Like, exactly. it's like you're there and then you're just mm -hmm. watching while well, in the set I'm telling you, like, I was in Rwanda, Rwanda like, I was in like, America yeah. It was so good um, I liked how he interwove everything, you know, the politics How he even brought about talking about the genocide in yeah. another way It was just so really, really, really yeah. cool It was really good, it was, I, I loved all those things about the book so do we have dislikes? Uh, well, there were some. I don't know if it's my copy, but there were some um, errors, like the punctuations, in places I thought yeah. like they should be like commas or okay. you know this should start as a new paragraph or something. And it's just like few. I don't think it's. I don't think it's like a print problem. I think it's probably like the editing problem. So there were like punctuation marks missing in some places. Uh, sentence structure. There's some few grammatical yeah. errors in some places. Um, but aside from that, I don't think that's that's all. Let me see. Okay, so for me, I feel like we could still have explored a little bit more with the story. Okay. And at the point, like, fine, the pacing was really great, but then it felt at some point like it wanted to rush. I tried towards the end of the book, mm -hmm. it kind of felt a bit rushed. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. I felt like yeah. we could have still, you know, mm -hmm. done a bit more with that part mm -hmm. and, you know, giving us a much. Mm -hmm. ending mm -hmm. that we have 
But all in all, it's a really good read. Okay, one more thing about it. I don't know if it's part, um, particularly this copy, yeah. but I, I, I always have a problem with small prints. Yeah. I know you're trying to make it small, Compact. like, but... Uh, yeah, I said like the was, Yeah, it was a struggle. It felt like I was reading like, you know, secondary school um, literature books that I just read. Like, it had that feel. It didn't feel, it didn't feel like I was just reading a yeah. nice kind of work. It just yeah, felt really weird. Yeah, I don't know. Well, all in all, I didn't deter me from finishing mm -hmm. the book and enjoying the story actually. So, yeah. It was quite, it was quite an enjoyable yeah, read. Yeah, very, very. So let's let's read the book. Okay. What's it? Over 10. I am not a fan of whodunit kind of books like crime trailers and I'm not I would rather watch a movie you than can't. <laughs> I would rather watch a movie <laughs> than read a book but because of how he wrote the story and he told the story mm -hmm. and I was really you know I was he got to finish the book out, and yeah. Yeah, so uh, that was really really cool so I think I would give it a nine. I think it's a nine. Wow. Yeah. Ah, well, that's generous. I had a seven in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it. Okay, so maybe because I am a fan mm -hmm. of these kind of books mm -hmm. and I've read a whole lot of crime trailers, like mm -hmm. books and all. So yeah, I think a seven is appropriate. So, okay. Yeah, cool, cool. Okay. Nice. Alright guys, so that's all for this episode. If you have read Diary Hits by um, by Mukoma Wa, um, please tell us what you think about the book. Mm -hmm. You enjoyed it? If you didn't enjoy it, if you're from Kenya, if you're from Rwanda, or you know you're an African American living in America, you know what the situation is about that relates to this book. You can also drop your comments in the comment section. Yeah. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe, like this video, share. Um, yeah, See you next time. <laughs> Alright, till so our next video. Bye.